Let's look at how to refill a deionizing resin vessel with fresh resin. Uh, this is the method that I like to use. First of all, undo the top of the resin vessel and carefully pull out the riser. Now you want to make sure you never damage this riser tube and the diffuser at the bottom. Place that to one side and then I'm going to pour away the excess water from the resin vessel. Oops, there we are. Now, in a suitable container, empty all of the old resin into it. This may need a little bit of a shake. For best results you would rinse out the resin vessel and get rid of any last remains of spent resin. Let's look at refilling. If you're using a DI funnel or something similar, you want to fill the DI vessel to about three quarters full, no fuller. Uh, if you fill it too full you won't be able to get the riser and the diffuser back in. So, open up your tub of fresh resin. Notice it's a much paler colour. And then carefully fill. Now this is a five litre tub of resin. And it's a seven litre DI vessel. So that's about right. I wouldn't want to put much more resin into the vessel. Make sure all of the resin goes into the vessel. It's precious stuff. Now once you've put the resin into there, the best method I've found of fitting the riser and the head unit back on is to pour some pure water into this so that you fill the vessel up with water. So you've now got a mixture of resin and pure water. So before screwing the head back on, make sure that the seat is completely clear of resin beads so that the rubber o-ring will seal and also make sure that the thread is completely free of resin beads so that the head screws on properly. It's worth taking a few moments to do this so that reassembly is easier. There we are. Okay, now carefully Set that in, and because it's a mixture of water and resin beads, it goes in so easily and then screws down into place. And then screw it down firmly so the rubber o ring seals, but not too tight. And there you've refilled a DI resin.